Like, what are well, we asking? I, I can't do it. Like, I feel like I'm. What am I going to talk? What are we going to talk about? What you don't want, you don't want to know many things about me? But uncle, you're like. So you tell me, come I, down, flight. Do the accent, but I can't do the accent. Yeah, I can't, man. Why? I can't. You know what? No, I'm, I'm not doing this. What? What are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? I'm not doing it. Why well, are you just gonna leave me here with this is overly grown always, man? Is he always like a suki bread? And I think to myself, what a wonderful. The Levy Podcast is the best podcast in the area and you can't change my mind. All right, guys, welcome back to the best podcast in the area. Make sure you're liking, subscribe. Guys, last exactly. video, we got a lot of views. Yes. But the one Quite thing that I noticed is we got 80% people that are not subscribed. Like, you know how much that shits me? Like, how hard is guys, it? Guys, what are you free? doing? What are you doing? We're not asking you for a jet plane. We're don't, not asking for a rocket. Don't send us a rocket. Just click the subscribe Don't send button. us a TikTok universe. Just click that subscribe button. Uh, maybe, Scroll down maybe, a bit while you're watching this video. Actually, let's wait. Maybe five send seconds. us a new, new Let's give them five <laughs> seconds. Guys, yeah. five seconds and you're going to subscribe. Right now. Subscribe right now. Subscribe Drop, drop right a now. like as well while you're at it. Drop All right. Like. Now that you've subscribed, let's get into it. So how you going? Not too bad yourself. How's... Uh, uh, none other than the fact that there's an Arab man just standing right yeah, there's there. there's an Arab man staring at me right now. <laughs> Whose uncle is right there? I'm, like, not, I'm not comfortable right now. There's is this someone's uncle? Man. Who's this Arab man? Hey, bro. Do we... bro who's this? Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. He brought us some uh, some sunflower wow. seeds. I don't wow. know if you guys can see that. It's sunflower seeds. Wow, that's the most Arab thing. And he's not talking at all. I don't know what he's doing. I don't here. know what's right. going on. Um, what's this coffee? Nice to, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Thanks for that. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> wow. You know? Okay. <laughs> Just trying to shake his head. All right, so what do we do from here? Just, I don't uh, know, man. I'm, I'm is this pretty, a mukbang? I'm pooping out. What is this? A mukbang? Sunflower. Okay. There's no smoking. There's no smoking okay. in the show, sorry. Just, yeah. Yeah. Just calm down a bit. You know, we, we can't, we, I wish we can, but we can't, you know, we don't have the, man doesn't have the facilities have, in that. Hey, no guys, facilities. guys, listen to this. Oh, I got us water as well. Hey, this That's is how you know. Bang there. You know what? Let me just say, when you're in Brighton, you go to Brighton, this is the first thing you see on the grass. Sunflower seeds. Sunflower baby. seeds, the shells. Oh, right, mate. All the time. Hello, how are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. How are you, barbecue? You? Yeah, how like, what's, what, are you in Sydney? Like, how's, how are you finding Sydney? Uh, too big. Too I big? Think, yeah, I think Melbourne is better. Yeah. How's the weather? Melbourne? Right now, Sydney weather is better than Melbourne. Melbourne. Sydney weather is better. So what, what's so bad about Melbourne weather? Melbourne weather, there's a heat wave right now, I think. And oh. they're treating okay. like 40 degrees, you know. Yeah, yeah. So very hot. Yeah, yeah. How's the, how's everything? How's well, the how do you, but what can I ask why are you wearing sunglasses in, in like, we're fucking, we're indoors, bro. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Bro. Firstly, firstly, no profanations in the podcast. What do you mean? Oh, you know? All right. Yeah, there, he's going to tell us how to run our watching this, you know? Uh, secondly, I say I explain this every time. I'm too handsome to show my face. What do you mean you're too handsome? You, the girls are going to be after you. Yeah, because I already have wife. Well, the and I don't, will be want, after you. I don't want other people following me. How you come know? I saw you with another girl the other day? That wasn't your wife. Why are you being liars? No, no, now you're being I liars. saw you with no, another girl. No, no, no. <laughs> listen, listen. If I come on this podcast, I need to be respectful. You understand me? These are good. Yeah, man, these so, are good. So, so um, how you like it? You like it? Yeah, I love sunflower seeds. Hey, not bad. This is good. It's an Arabic bad. thing I give you, like, culture, you know? What about that? What would you get us there? This is uh, Arabic coffee right here. You know what? I've actually never had Arab coffee wow. in my life. This give is the first time trying it. Give me your... Wow. Here you go. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. But it looks too black. Is it? I've never had that. Look at that. It's freaking black. Once you get... Nah. Okay. <laughs> Once you go black, you never Once go you back. Go black, Whoa. You never go back. <laughs> what are you speaking Thanks, mate. about? Once you go black, you can't go back. Haven't you heard about that before? No. Is anything... Uh... Haven't you heard about that, uncle? <laughs> Listen, a lot of people start... Uh... <clears throat> speaking to the mic, Ammo. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, mom. <laughs> <laughs> is this your first podcast, Ammo? Yeah, this is my first podcast, so I'm very nervous. Oh, no. All right. Test, test. Oh, that is so uh, bitter. Hey, that is so bitter. It's not even good, yes. sweet, bro. It doesn't have sugar like, or anything. Do you, have that, do you have that a lot? Every day? How do you have it's that? It's very good for you. Yeah, yeah. but Make I just... your reproductive system strong. <laughs> no, oh, but really? you know what I heard as well? When they used to tell me when I was young, they used to tell me if you drink Arab coffee, you get a, you get a mustache. I was six years old and they wanted me to drink Arab coffee. Is that true? Yeah. No, it's not good for children uh, because they make him psycho. <laughs> they have too much energy. You know, if you give your son Bipsy... Yeah. When he's young, he no sleep, you know? He doesn't sleep. Yeah. Do you have a son? 
I have one son, alhamdulillah. The most beautiful thing. Is he? Yeah. Wow. Most beautiful thing. Do you, does Do you, he ever drink Pepsi? I don't let him. Why not? He starts crying on me. I don't care. What don't about? Do you let him drink juice? Coffee? Juice is all right, but it's still sugar, you know? But don't you want him to grow a mustache, grow like a big beard and stuff? He already have mustache. He have Arabic genetics. Wow. He's one year old and he already have mustache. I mean, yeah, to be fair, us Arabs, we get beards pretty quick. Yeah. I know. And mustache. We hairy everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you go, do you do laser ammo? Like, do you ever laser your... No, your I think this is... Uh, I don't want to start beef, lamb and chicken, but... <laughs> beef, lamb, well, I don't know. I come to Sydney, everyone wants a laser... Everything, you know. You know what? All the heavies now, even the heavies, I'm not going to call out any heavies, but there's a lot of people, like guys, especially, that do a laser. And mm. um, what do you think about that? Amor? What do you think? Uh, you know, just be yourself. You don't need to go laser. Yeah, but what about head. if you have like a what about, gorilla back? What yeah. if your back is like just what about, a carpet? Yeah. What about yeah. like? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to talk, but you you do this every episode. No, no, go, right, go. Let man what talk. What are you going to say? I know. I talk. see. You always treat him as if he's Robin yeah, Hood, like, and I you're like, Batman. I'm just a ghost here. I'm just like, go. What do you have to say? What, what do you think about lasering of the bottom hole? Well, <laughs> I think. Uh, listen, uh, maybe it's irritating for some people, but if there's like nothing there, mm. would you laser your bottom hole? Okay, now you being very <laughs> personal with me. Uh, probably not probably not really yeah i don't wait hold on i better reveal a lot about myself i don't want to talk what about your back i don't have hair on my back you sure? oh, i find that very hard to believe can we can we can we get a, a, a sneak peek no i only want to show my wife who the fuck got this guy on my podcast <laughs> that's it I, Why did we to be him? honest look i had the i wanted to talk to him but look i, I don't think i could do it man like what are well, we asking? I, I can't do it. Like I feel like I'm talking about. What am I gonna uncle? talk? What are we gonna talk about? Why you don't want you don't want to know many things about me? But uncle, you're like So you tell me come I, down flat. I can't do the accent, but I can't do the accent. Yeah, I can't, man. Why? I can't you know what? No, I'm I'm not doing this. Why what are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? I'm not doing it. Why are you just gonna leave me here with this is overly always, grown man? Is he always like a suki brat? Yeah, he's a bit of a brat sometimes. Like um Hey. Yeah. Hey, be nice, here. man. This is a guest. Be nice to the guest. I can't do it. What did you say? He, he's too arrogant. Well, I don't know. But, what? You just need to relax sometimes, you know? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you always so angry, man? Sit down. Did what? we just get Steve Irwin? Are you, you turned from my uncle? You actually talk English? Yeah, mate. No worries. Bro, this guy can talk more Aussie than me. Why did you start with that? What? What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. You bring us Ahui. You get an Argili. We come here. We pick you up from fucking wherever. You come to Sydney. Yeah, it's because I go back to the whole time. I go back to my Arabic culture this way, but I no, can, no, 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 I can speak English no, no, as well. Let's track back a bit. Let's track back. Let's you just spoke English, English, bro. Yeah, I can speak English. Wow, bro, are you fluently as well? Like, yeah, no one are you not surprised? Me. Are you not like? I'm, I'm really tripping surprised. The fuck like, out I'm right tripping now. out. Hey, no more profanations, please. Let's keep no, it. No, no, no. Let's go back to profanations. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this whole podcast, I going back and forth. I want to trip out your brain. How do you do that though? Like, I don't know how you can do on demand. How you can like just fucking switch that quick. quick. Yeah. Well, I work in construction and I've been around older like Old people. Arab, yeah. Like not Serbians, Greeks and all that. And they come from outside and their English is not strong. So when Are I work with them. actually from construction or is that what you're. No, you're no, fucking, I actually work construction. Your cover up is. Yeah, yeah, no, I work construction. You know, fucking like. Fucking drives a Lambo. Oh, yeah, I'm in construction. <laughs> <laughs> bro, everyone come on my live and they're like, you're a flop. You don't work. Go work. Well, bro, I'm working bro. 10 hours a day, construction, getting wrecked by the sun. Yeah, breaking yeah, your yeah. back in the sun. Well, one, you, one, one TikTok universe is equivalent to three days in construction. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> People days. don't understand Probably how much more. that helps out, but yeah. it's like, it makes your whole, like, instead of living week to week, like week to week, mm. you can actually start saving up. You can actually start- Live month to month. Exactly. Year to year. Guys, just it depends on ditch the construction and um, get on live. Well, we saw who won last week, Mons. He actually won the weekly rankings. Did that? He, he blocked won. me. What? He blocked you on TikTok. Yeah, he blocked me. Why? I actually didn't know about that. He, I don't know. He just got cut at you? me out of nowhere. He just said, uh, "I don't care." Uh, he was raging at someone else. Mm. Yeah. And then I joined the live. I'm like, "Hello, Mons. How are you?" Like, I'm trying to come with a positive vibe. And he's still turning. I think he was on his period or something. And, and he blocked you. He's like. Wow. If you hated this system, uh, <laughs> 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 bro, you're the nicest guy ever. Yeah, I, don't know the fuck like, bro, I was on you. his side, 
and he was still turning at me. Oh, oh my was, god! I'm blocking you. Oh, social media. I'm not talking to you. I think you had a bit of a run in as well with uh, someone else. Who? I didn't block you, but you jumped on his live, and then he's like. What oh, the that's fuck? right. Yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Moody. Yeah. I mean, he's a good bloke. Good old he's Moody. A good bloke, Look, good old Moody but I like his lives a yeah. lot. But he's very entertaining. Listen, Moody, I want to have battle with you. Oh, oh he's I'm calling, calling out. you out right now here. He's calling him out. What are you calling oh, him out? Because you call me Gronk and Flop when I tell you hello. That's it. I show you my team versus your team. And this is the call out. People make TikTok videos. I do it on podcasts. Bro. <laughs> you're you're gonna run this podcast. You reckon? You, you gonna you are gonna run this podcast. He's gonna be the host. You you honestly, like you're the quickest person I've seen blow up on the app. I'm not even joking. In one week, mm. you got like a hundred and something thousand followers. You but you know, you know how I did that. Um, I just looked at the app and I was like scrolling through TikTok Live and I'll just watch it the whole time. That like that was my life. I'll just watch TikTok Live for a while. Like how long was that? Yeah, like whenever I was bored at work or something, I'll just jump on it and I'll just watch it. Yeah. And I was like, bro, like I need something different. So you, you thought, know? fuck, I can change this app. Because everyone's on there. They're just showing their real selves and all that. Yeah. And they're not like, sometimes they're just saying, come on, guys, send me a rocker. Let's win this battle. Mm -hmm. It's like, bro, at least hype up the live. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, maybe I could try this if it doesn't work. It doesn't work. The character? You know? Yeah. Have you always had this character in mind? Did you always think manifest it like one day I'm going to make a character? And I'm gonna actually fucking blow up on social media. Do you want me to tell you something? It was yeah. a five minute idea. I just thought, oh, okay. What do you I'm mean? Do it. Yeah. Just out of nowhere. Yeah, I got my I'm wife to record the video. <laughs> the first video. Where? Okay, so you already had the props. I already had the props. It's just like. So uh, you do this yeah. at home? The like, I bet you. Is, yeah. Is that what you call like, it? Like, yeah, it's the best but thing. But did you have? Did you straight away have that uncle? The uncle thing, like um, uncle I had to, and stuff, or did you just? I yeah, had to practice on it. Um. Your name's Mo. Uh, yeah, my, that's, my that's actual name is Mo, but, the but, whole nephews and nieces. but I think it would, it would come from my, like my parents and my uncles. And that's how they would speak like broken English. Mm -hmm. So, and back then with my cousins, we would like laugh about it, like how. Oh, so yeah. you picked up on like your uncles and that because you know, like they they obviously have that import accent. Do, yeah. do they act the same way that you act as Uncle Mo? They don't act, oh, but they speak the way that that I speak right oh, now. Okay. Yeah, because that's where I, I picked it up from. Picked it's it up funny from because them. that's where a lot of people pick it up from. Like even Superwog. Yeah. His dad was probably the dad that you know the, the out of the shorts and fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah boy, but that's that's the real shit. That's how. My, I that's dad's, like, my, my dad's actually born here. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't. Oh, okay. Arab dad. Yeah. So you're full Aussie, mate. I'm full Aussie. Yeah. yeah. My dad's born Aussie, born and bred. Mum's born overseas. Fair dinkum, mate. Bloody hell. Oh fucking yeah. My dad's my dad speaks more Aussie than me. I sound more Arabic. He does. But you know what? He's actually full. He talks fluent English and fluent Arabic. Yeah. It's pretty hard. He was on my TikTok for a bit as well. Oh, really? My dad. But the thing, what he done was he was acting like an import. Yeah. It's kind of like doing what you done. What you did now, but he's acting as my dad as an import because I didn't have an actual import dad. You know what it is? Some people take offense to it for some reason. Why? When when you act like a bit import, like yeah, just but having a it's laugh. your culture. And they're like, mm. oh, you'll bring the Arabs down. You'll bring this. Well, bro, it's not like I took a dump and video yeah. on live. Yeah, what would you rather? I'm just trying to have a laugh. I'm, I'm just no, but the thing is, you, there's actually people like that. Like, you yeah. know me? I copped a lot of fucking slack for the thing that, you know how they with the Gucci hat and stuff? Yeah. We were, what, where were we now? We were in a fucking, we were in the area. <laughs> we are having manush. I took him to the best manush shop in the area. We took him to the area. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't Tell think him. that was, it, like, it was real in Sydney. Like, I thought, like, I thought, like, it's just like, People make it out to be a personality or a stereotype, you know? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Bro, the first thing we do is go to the Manush shop and we see a girl with a Gucci hat just rock <laughs> up. Out of that shorts, he literally was wearing exactly no, what I wear my The skin. thing is, I didn't know what was going on. I saw him laughing, cracking up. Yeah, like, well, what's going on? and it's like you had <laughs> seen <laughs> an alien. You're like, who the fuck <laughs> is that? <laughs> the way you looked at me, I was like, what? And then he was like, bro, I didn't know these people actually exist. Yeah, <laughs> like, they're real, they're real people. I never in my life thought like people like, bro, you've been here 20 years, 30 years. Mm. Yeah, and, uh, like you've been because brought up through Melbourne. school. Yeah, but Melbourne, they're different. You don't Arabs, say that in the Libos are different in Melbourne. Yeah, they're more like, how can I say it? Classy. The they're classy, but the underworlds, like the Brody boys, like the crims. <laughs> Are you bringing up heavy names? Oh, fuck, sorry, I didn't mean that. Yeah, what are the bro, don't boys? bring up the Brody Boys. Bro, I don't bro. bring up the Brody Boys. Uh, come with you, cuz I'll shake him with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the thing is, he's from Brody's, eh? Or whatever. Well, you know, like, near, near, like that's where I used Brody, to live. But yeah. like, we have a part of used to live, but then... Bro, you're doxing me here, bro. You're doxing me. I'm, 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 I'm throwing him under the bus. Like, <laughs> oh, Uncle Mo said this about the Brody Boys. <laughs> they're, they're, they're coming for him. Nah, um, what was I saying? The underworld. You're talking about the underworld. Yeah, in Melbourne... 
like crims are actually underworld crims, you know, when you say underworld. Mm. Whereas here, when I come to Sydney, everyone wants to be in crim in public. Mm. Like, oh, they want to okay, show yeah, it yeah, as yeah, if they want to show it. There's a lot of that, yeah. Here, yeah. here there's a, a lot heavy. of people that yeah. act, do a lot of talking, and they're yeah. very upfront. They're like, mm. oh, yeah, I'll do this, I'll have that. Hello, we don't, I don't know, but all I know is that they want to be seen as crims. Oh, okay. You know? Like, they want to actually mm. show their money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas in Melbourne, it's more like low key. Like low key, gangsters. yeah, low like key, low key, fucking heavies. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Do they call them heavies there as well? Yeah, we call them heavies. <laughs> but you got, you got, you can't have tell. so many weird like stuff here though. Just mm. the, the way we say the things. way you say things, bro. Like I, I came here once, yeah, and I didn't know what pig Latin was. Oh, Eshays, oh, Adelaide, Eshays, yeah, Adelaide. and the guy starts speaking with me. He's like, bro, stop being an onky lay. <laughs> or whatever like, oh, like, bro sometimes <laughs> i overdo it they're like stop being a onky adlai akfai amma yo they say a whole can sentence you, can you pass like me the upkay of a uh, drink a yeah. they say the whole sentence in pig <laughs> latin i was like i was <laughs> like them bro stop speaking gibberish with me i don't understand yeah. what you're like yeah you've it been here like a different language, wasn't yeah. it like um it's like a prison language I think it was because you know who yeah. uses it a lot? Spanian. You know, Spanian. I love Spanian. I love Spanian. The king well. of I Eshays. love you, Spanian. If you yeah. ever watch him, <laughs> he's the king of Eshays. Who the Ulz led? Bro, that guy, seriously, he actually came from the life. He's like Moody, yeah. same thing. Like they both they both lived the life. They were actually gangsters. They went yeah. to jail, this and that. But now they came out and they, they showed that, they, that you can come out mm. a better person, but it's, it's yeah. a low chance. It's a low chance. It's hard for them, but I think what Spanian did was really good because as soon as he start he started seeing he was like going up in social media and he was getting notoriety yeah he he started going on all platforms he would go on twitch youtube yeah yeah, yeah yeah he didn't just stick to tiktok yeah. it's not like a twenty thousand dollar setup or something yeah have oh, you seen that piece of crazy. Cracker. Crazy. Bro, yeah. he plays fortnite no i'm not into fortnite i'm into warzone oh. are you, you actually yeah play? I, used to, I used to play a lot why don't of you play as uncle mo i don't game anymore Oh, okay mm. yeah, yeah because too, of I my family and all that it's just like yeah. it's hard i think you get over it bro. yeah like, you get too, over it like I just can't get on a game anymore. I can't sit there for hours on a game. It doesn't excite me no. like it used to. Yeah. Yeah. Gaming, uh, I think a lot of people are getting off consoles now and they're getting on PC. Because yeah. PC, mm -hmm. the PC. world is open, you know? You can you can play I've, whatever you yeah. want. I've played on PC. Like um, There was a role-play game, 5M. It's like GDA, but you can be whatever you want. Yeah. You can act. You can dress up as a Lobo from the area. Yeah. And like we did a bit of funny. YouTube streaming. It was fun, yeah. but it wasn't as, you know how TikTok is. Like, it's not the same, bro. It's just not the same. TikTok is mm. very easy to blow up in. Yeah. Like, it's very easy to get engagement. you came engagement. on for one week. You came yeah. on for one week and you got 100. And it was crazy, bro. I was yeah. like, because at the start, I was on 1,000 followers. And I released like um, five videos. Mm -hmm. First week, 10,000 followers. And that was crazy to me. 10,000 yeah, followers. Yeah. I was like, it's what the hell? never imagined that. Yeah. And then I'll post that one video and it goes viral. The Go yeah, Little yeah. Rockstar, bro. Go Little Rockstar. I was getting like 5,000 viewers because at the time I posted it, I'm like, let me go live. Yeah. Because you know, like when people see it, they'll come on and my live. And they'll jump on your live because yeah. they see the live comes up and it's so obvious yeah. that he's live. Yeah. You can easily yeah, comes up. It. Yeah. Bro, and my comments on the live were just spam. Go little rockstar. Go little rockstar. Go little rockstar. But you know what? You've done it yeah. smart because people like that. Like they they like you know how you said, Oh, I only have thirty viewers and this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they're like, Oh, you know, let me let me go. Yeah. And it's then like, people all jump on. It's like, you know, yeah, they, they want to help like, you. Like, but that, know, it's actually help. what I had though, thirty viewers. You did, no, you yeah. did, you did. And it's like very smart. Like what last year, at the end of the year before we, we were planning to get five thousand yeah. subscribers. And they were like, "All right, we'll do a Go Little Rockstar. We'll chuck at Uncle Mo." Yeah, and we done it. And then we hit five, like we hit five cases. But you know, yeah, day. yeah. But you know the difference with us when we done it is he done it in a different way. Where it was like my loyal thirty viewers or whatever. Yeah. So we were still grateful for them. But we done it in a way it was like get us up to five k. I don't it, think that's. Yeah, I got it. I got it from those guys. You know, they remember that time where Twitch streamers were coming on TikTok. And they mm. were like, oh, me working so hard on oh, live yeah, streaming. That always you know? comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then everyone would just click on their Twitch and they'll follow it. Mm. That, that, those that's videos where, are very yeah. smart, but mm. I don't know. A lot of people do it. So yeah. Yeah. you got to get lucky. But I feel like it'll get you quick quick subs, quick followers and stuff. I think, to be honest, time. bro, yeah. any video that gets on the For You page will blow up. Bro, mm. like sometimes I see garbage content on the For You page. It's got like hundred thousands of likes. Mm. Yeah, but the thing is, how do you, it's the the problem with TikTok is hard to maintain. The yeah, things. you gotta stay consistent. Mm. You gotta stay consistent, and you gotta you can't change. Mm. Yeah, the th the thing that I've noticed is I I started dropping in viewers. Yeah, 
now now that I started doing my skits again, the Lebos and whatever skits, my my views started going up again mm. because that's what I originally had. That's what my account was originally based that's on. That's what you're known for. The skits. That what, that's yeah, what yeah. I was known the for. Lebo but then the skits, if yeah. you try to change it up, you gotta you gotta build up again mm. from scratch. It's so hard. It's so hard. Mm. Well, that's a bad thing to hear because I'm trying to change my content. I mean, you you well, I mean, if you can still keep it as Uncle Mayo, I think, yeah. but if you change the way you do it and like different but you got to keep it as Uncle Mayo. What I want is people to fall in love with the character, not the content. So mm, if they exactly. follow, yeah, exactly. exactly. That's what we try because then yeah, the, what... the character can do any type of content. Then yeah, you know, like with me, for example, like if I have that Maui Maui character, you have the Uncle Mo character. Mm. You know, I would be curious to see how it would go if I do that Maui character, but like public videos, or if you do Uncle Mo as public videos. Let's like, do it. Okay, I'll, Let's I'll do it right now. We'll do it. I saw we'll do it. <laughs> because you know what? Australia is lacking like public videos. Yeah. I reckon. I, I think it's not public videos. It's just like they're all dry pranks. They're all the mm. same shit. Yeah. It's all the same. Like What was it? My my email's uh, yeah, bigtoes321 at, then... <laughs> at 69. <laughs> Shut the oh, up. My yeah. name is Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Yeah, yeah. That's like... Oh, can and... you? Can you? My, my, my grandpa's missing in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> phone call one. name? Mike Hunt? <laughs> Fucking hate the phone call one. Oh my, uh, my STD came in. I got herpes or something. Yeah, and then they walk past a few girls and they go. They, they're just oh, like. Uh, oh. <laughs> they so, make it so obvious. It's obviously fake. All of like, them make it so obvious, bro. <laughs> if you look at where we've evolved, like where we've come from, you had the Janoskians. Oh. Big difference now. Like you look at the Janoskians bro. style pranks. They remember the Janoskians? Bro, that just opened up a bag of memories. Do you remember yeah. when they used to do the food coloring in the fucking oh, milk? Bro. Oh, they used to drink split. it. Oh, that's Where fun. are these blokes now? I know one of them lives next to me in Melbourne. Oh really? Yeah, yeah I've seen him go around the what, area. Is that the guy that went out with Ariana Grande? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah, of them yeah, went yeah. out with Ariana. How well, crazy that's, is that's that? That's crazy. Now that you look but back, that was like the peak of his career. I think. Yeah, but, but how did they die out so fast? I think they just didn't change. Like. They didn't evolve. Mm. I think you got to get to a point where you keep evolving, you keep changing, and like yeah. sort of yeah. re reinventing like your brand. Teddy. Yeah, like Teddy. Teddy, yeah. Teddy's smart. I mean, mm. he stopped for quite a bit, but then he came back and he just reinvented himself on TikTok. Hold on, bro. No one wants to change his mind. No one. Wants to change <laughs> change. We tried to change. I reckon, his mind. No, I reckon Uncle Mo can change his mind. I reckon <laughs> he can change his mind. <laughs> hey, guy, listen no, to me. No one can change his mind, bro. <laughs> Actually, uh, he's funny though. Yeah, he's so funny, man. I, I want to get a nice guy as well. Very down to earth. Hey, when yeah. we come to Melbourne, yeah, we're fucking linking up. Hundred percent. We're linking up with you, Teddy. I'm gonna do a Levy, Is he, is he from Melbourne? He's from Melbourne. Yeah. I thought he was from Sydney. No, no, he's from Melbourne. Oh, no, no, yeah, he's mm. he's definitely from Melbourne, and that's why we did a podcast. We did Zoom. Yeah. Oh, you Zoom. did a podcast with him? Yeah, but oh. we did Zoom. Oh, did yeah. it's not dodgy. Not you gotta go nah, down. It was chat. It was yeah. Nah, it's too hard. Though. I don't like Zoom podcasts because like it. it just comes into a talking over each other match. Like you, the structure you of it, can't. it just like it's, yeah. it's awkward. Yeah, it's, it's awkward. Zoom is designed for like um like one boss to talk to like thirty employees or like yeah, exactly. one teacher yeah. to talk to thirty students. You know exactly. Yeah. But what do you think about Zoom? Mm. As in like um I was uh, like during COVID it was uh. It was like big mm. and like my brother in university was using it and all that. Yeah, I never but got I, to experience I, it. I, I never got to experience it. Yeah. yeah. I, like I would see my brother just like sleep and he would have his Zoom on. Bro, yeah, it was yeah. mad. My whole last year of uni was on Zoom pretty much. But it's like you get up at 8.59, for example, for a 9 a.m. Yeah, but I feel up. like you won't be as it's productive. Mad. It's not as productive, but you can you're not I uni. mean, you're, you're in lockdown. What, are you, what is there to be productive about? That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. probably just going on TikTok. Bro. You know what? TikTok is the biggest distraction. I, I feel yeah. sorry for kids now trying to study and, and be on TikTok. It's not just TikTok. Mm. It's everything. It's like social media, man. Mm. Everything's like, becoming like TikTok, yeah. I think. Instagram, all of them. Yeah, but the amount of hours that these kids spend watching, watching these lives, how do they study? How do they do their homework? How do they do assignments? I don't know, man. They uh, just go on live. Like, they don't need to do school. If I'd spent the same <laughs> all amount know, of time... All I, I know, my like, son is not getting a phone until he's like 18 years old. He's, oh, yeah, for I the agree, time yeah. being, he's getting a knock. I didn't get a phone till I was seventeen. Yeah, you're gonna play oh, with a like fucking footy ball, bro. That's that's what you're gonna play with. You're not getting. We had phone. nothing, bro. <laughs> well, I'd Mates, see. Nothing. I'll see like my nephews and stuff, like my real nephews. Yeah, they're playing yeah. Roblox on the iPad for like hours and hours, man. It's mm. like crazy. They don't. They're get so off like thing. zoned in as well. Yeah. You see a kid. Oh yeah. Like, bro, you could like no, if you follow his tap him, you can like try and move. Do you think we were like that when we were on the consoles and stuff, bro? We were different. We had like actual childhood. We'd go out and fucking eat cockroaches and stuff. But bro, we had I don't fun. know about you. No, no one ate cockroaches. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> to, to build the immune system. You were eating cockroaches? To build the immune system. I was, I don't know. That's that shit. Have <laughs> this guy's <laughs> acting like he's big grills, bro. No, no, listen. I would eat cockroaches. <laughs> cockroaches with a bit of dirt, yeah. a bit of grass under, 
<laughs> Fuck off. Would have been sun for a bit. <laughs> medium will. What are you on about? Medium well, it's like that small. How can you? Nah, but as if you didn't used to make like uh, dishes in the in the. You know what we eat though? Mm. Um, you know those flowers, the sour, the sour ones. Yeah, oh, I remember what were they those. Called? I those little sour, those. sour. What was they? Yeah. They're like grass I forgot, with stick. I forgot what they were called. I swear it was mate, grass. Yeah, my mate, when I was young, he he gave me he gave me one, and I remember I had it, and I, just, I don't think I ever had it again. It's and I've always best. been looking for it. Uh, Where do you find it? Bro, you find it in your front yard or something. How do you know that? You too? can't just get it from like Abu Salim or something. Like get a bag. Of no, it. you can't get yeah. a bag from Abu Salim. Who's Abu Salim? I mean a bag. Oh, you don't know Abu Salim? <laughs> no, I don't know. Who's that? We'll take you after the podcast. Oh, Abu okay. Salim is a fucking, um, he's a, like a corner shop. Do you guys have like, like a, a milk bar? <laughs> do not fucking start this. Do not fucking start this. That's World War 3 of this podcast. Am I going to go Am I gonna go to the bar hala and ask for milk? Bro, you're uh, not going to a brothel, all right? It's no, 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 listen, Bob. A milk bar just sounds like you're getting milk from there. Yeah. They sell other things, but, but they sell sunflowers. That's just a Melbourne water. thing, is it? Like that's what yeah, I, think, I think. I yeah. think, like those types of shops were delivering milk back in the day. Mm. Yeah, on like the car, you know how they'll go down, uh, go around and deliver the milk. Yeah, um, but that's old. Yeah, bro. then that's when they started to call the milk bar because they would that's, also sell other stuff at their shop. Bro, that's mm. old news, bro. It's changed. It's a cor- you know why it's called a corner shop, but it's, it's not on the corner. corner. It's it not is on the corner. Never on the corner. It's Most of the time, it's, it's never on the corner. corner. Abu Salim's on the corner. corner. Abu Salim's on the corner. He is, but not all of them. Are Abu Salim's corner. on the corner. There was like between some post you, bro, office man. and some other place. Does he sell the good stuff under the table? He sells the yeah, vapes. He sells everything. The uh, pirated <laughs> the movies. No, back. No, I don't think he does that anymore. Back in the days, they used to sell pro- pirated movies. Oh, oh no way! Yeah, the white CDs yeah, yeah, and they have yeah. like on them like fucking. They take you to the back. You go. You want that good shit? Jane go unchained. Bro, you just go. You tore it. That's how I used to do it. I mean, I, we, we don't, we don't, um, we don't condone that. But lime wire and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. That was part, I remember lime wire. You wait two days you know, for it to. No, and and sometimes you download something and then it come up as like Bill Clinton. <laughs> I did not have sexual <laughs> intercourse with that woman. Or you just open it and it's some like. You want to download like movie. Acorn, okay, an yeah. Acorn song or something? Yeah. I never, bro. I never got into that. People downloading like songs on their MP3s and all that because I was really? never into music. Bro, there was that little. I, I had, I had it. Yeah, I had the, the MP3. iPod. No, it wasn't even before, before the, the iPad. iPod, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like this little MP3 that it's like. It looked like big. a vape stick. Yeah. It looked like a vape. Yeah, it, it just comes up just yeah. the song name. MP3. I, I never, I never got into it. Fuck. That was like the shit. I was back too then. busy. Was like, there was no yeah. screen. There was no screen. What were you doing then? then if you didn't fuck Bro, I was just going to school catching grasshoppers with my hat. Wow. <laughs> no hat, no play. <laughs> hey, once we had a fucking chicken, a, a rooster. Did you ever have like a dog come into the school? But we'd have kangaroos coming into the school. <laughs> what do you mean? I swear we, to God. Were you we'd in have the kangaroos. same class as Steve Irwin or something? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. No, no, but where, where, did, where the fuck? Where did you go to school? Fucking Taronga Zoo? Uh, <laughs> it was like a primary school in Meadow Heights. Uh, shout out to shout Meadow, out Heights. Meadow Heights. Yeah, shout Meadow out Meadow Heights, mate. Free plug. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it was like, bro, there was, there's always kangaroos around the area. Cause we, Not here, bro. Not that's, my, that's probably a Melbourne thing. In here, you got donkeys. All the monkeys. We, <laughs> we have real donkeys. We have fucking hey, I've seen donkeys. a guy walking, or a goat or something, in oh, the middle of the road once. No, no, I saw, I saw a pony in the area once. A guy actually on a pony. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. A girl, sorry, a girl. Crazy. Have you ever ridden a horse? No. 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 I break the horse. No. Oh, I have actually once, once. I did once, yeah. Never in my life, but I've oh, rode a camel. I, like, no stereotype or anything, like, I've actually rode a camel. Oh, really? Yeah, it feels We're like at... you're on a skyscraper or something. We have, we have ridden a camel. Oh, we did do a camel in, uh, in Nelson's Bay. Nelson's Bay, Must yeah. have been the same place. How were your bulls after that? They, they were fucked. Yeah. Bro, I tried to, I, that's the reason why I don't ride a bike. I tried to get into bike riding. Well, you must have some big bulls. <laughs> yeah, like, after the first day, not only my bulls, my ass. The, you know the whole area under? The hey, whole that's, area under, that's that the thing fun. with bikes it's like the seat is like that but you still ride it you don't care but they, they they get used to, i don't know they probably have balls of steel bro i don't know how people ride but no bikes. one rides bikes anymore like no, the teenagers do. no like, bro, even the ones that with the micro they ride them more now they ride Not them teenagers more. yeah though, yeah, yeah. Old, probably old people nah all these like hippies and stuff save yeah, the world them. not around the area though not here you don't nah, see in the city in the city you see a few kids i can't imagine you on a bike uncle man i used to have a bmx really yeah did you and do then, wheelies? Uh, Did you do a mono? No, you know where I'd go? I'd go to the skate park. Oh. But one time, like, but this, before I had my BMX, yeah. I had a mountain bike. Yeah. Because my dad, we didn't know what BMX was. A bike is a bike, you a know? A bike's a bike, yeah. yeah. A bike from Kmart, that's it. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll go to with the Melton boy to the skate park, and all these guys have like the, all these Aussies. Yeah, mate, my scooters. <laughs> that, you know, they all got the BMX box, their snapback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The long blonde hair, Justin Bieber hair. Fucking typical. <laughs> right, and they're going down like it's nothing, and just have boop, boop, boop. I think they and learned then, from a young age. Yeah. You remember once? I was gonna say yeah, that. Yeah, bro. We went to a we went to a skate park once, and we both had bikes because. It was near our house and we're like, bro, there's a, there's a skate park near our house. Let's fucking try but it. You know what? We were always scared to go. We'd go past it. We're like, nah, nah. Yeah, we're always like, nah, there's yeah. no way we're going to the skate park because people look fucking mad, bro. They do freaking skateboards. They 360 mono The sleep. thing is, we had, we had two bikes. We just yeah. bought new bikes. We're like, all right, we'll go to this skate park. We'll mm. fucking have a laugh. Yeah, we go there and all these Aussies, you know, the, the ones that you just yeah. talking about, the fucking dudes, they're looking at us. They've got like, you knew here, mate. Yeah, <laughs> Justin Bieber, fucking yeah. Doing this. Oh, g'day, mate. How you going? Yeah, good, bro. And then we fucking jump on. This guy comes from the other side. I'll go from the other side. We go down both fucking uh, hills. You know how there's a hill? Yeah, yeah. We go down the hill and we fucking rode straight into each other. <laughs> bro, I'll we be... fucking hit each other, bro. We fell down. We I'll were never seen the, there again. No, with the, again. With the mountain bike, yeah. I was about to go down. And because the mountain bike is like so stretched out, yeah. this was like a steep, like a steep fall. It wasn't yeah. like a hill. Yeah. Mm. And I'll go down and the chain gets stuck in between like the... Like the where it goes down, like the little bump, if you get what oh, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just out, and I'll just flip over, bro. Oh, my oh, God. Bro. Never going over. Yeah, that's, that, like that's why we got traumatized. We're like, bro, staying yeah. Arab forever. We're not, <laughs> Arab forever. <laughs> We're not born for this. It's not for us. There's We're two not. things Aussies are born for it's swimming and fucking ska skating. Surfer, dude. Surfing. Surfer, surfing. Dude. Surfing. surfing and skating. That's because surfing and skating is all a similar thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're active, man. Oh, fuck. Even the Olympics, they kill it. Our parents are different. Yeah. yeah. They didn't put us in like swimming at like fucking four years old, nah, five years old. We'd go like uh, soccer on the weekend. Soccer. That's or like it. even fucking not even. They'll Sometimes make you go on the least most. I wasn't allowed contract. to play NRL. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Because it's like, oh, you know. <laughs> you might yeah, my, my parents were the same at the start. I was not allowed to do the, the fighting and the MMA because I used to train. Mm -hmm. Oh, you used and, to train? Yeah. My mother was scared and she's like, you know, uh, I started doing it and she, said, she saw me like get in line. Mm. Yeah, she started mm. seeing me like more productive, not being lazy anymore. This is that, you know. Yeah. So she just let me keep doing it. Yeah, I think they worry too much. I think that's yeah. the problem with Arab parents. They're too over much protective. over overthinkers, overprotective. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's not what we do. We yeah. don't do that. It's like you got to let your son or your daughter or whatever just go out and fucking at least hurt themselves, do something, you know. Yeah. Just because the only the only way to learn and grow is if you make mistakes. Yeah, if you make mistakes and struggle through trauma. Yeah, mm. you take an L, but you yeah. keep on learning. That's what it is. That's what that. What's what, that that's what life take is. An L and I kept on learning. <laughs> oh, the brain, don't give me music <laughs> quotes. I don't understand anything. No, you don't know the fucking the new trend songs. Pack some portions. The pack no. some portions. Oh, that yeah. guy, that Liverpool guy. The yeah. Liverpool guy. Bro, yeah. UK Jules fucking going off. Bro, you listen to it? yeah. Bro, it's um, who was that? Bro, I used to listen to Dutch Avelli until he was exposed for being a uh, a mons. <laughs> 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 Fuck. That's what we call him. He was exposed for being a mons. Mons. Fuck it up. That's no, a new joking. term. A mons or a mons. Bro, I'm going to start whole beef now, bro. Right, They're no, all going to come, come for you. <laughs> hey, I wanted to ask you, how the fuck um, do you go out in public? Like, if you were to go out like this, yeah, wouldn't you think that people would look at you like weirdly? Because we already have this whole thing about Arabs, mm. terrorists. Uh, so, what I haven't told anyone about is I'm making public videos right now. Yes. There you go, guys. Yeah. You heard it here. But I'm not going to reveal podcast. too much. No, no. So, yeah, bro, I'll tell you their reaction. They're just in shock. They don't know what to say. Because I'm just thinking like... Because when I come up to them, in. yeah, they're just like, uh, like I go in with a I don't give a fuck attitude. Like, yeah, but, aren't, like you, funny, aren't you, know? you worried though that they're going to call the police because of... But the, I don't do stereotype? anything to the point where I scare them so much. Like, I'll mm. talk to them you after. The uh, thank you for you being the... a good sport. Yeah, but why? Why you should I be? Yeah, it's it's messed up how we should be worried about doing yeah, that. Yeah, I know it's fucking messed up. Yeah. Like, we yeah. shouldn't be thinking yeah. like. Oh, well, I'd get well, eyes every time. I would I get eyes like well, mm. I'm walking normally, what I'm and thinking, everyone just like recording. Yeah, me. what I'm thinking is sometimes we get eyes and we don't even dress like. like yeah, that, you know what I mean. Like we we're, we're normal clothes, but because we have beads, mm. and because my mum's scarfed or whatever. Yeah, we just get those eyes. You travel a bit further than Sydney. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you go to like <laughs> Gold Coast or something. Yeah, is yeah. is Melbourne like that though? In terms of like. Nah, bro. Melbourne is very multicultural. Mm. You know what? But yeah. the first time we were in Melbourne, we we got a we like, got a really bad experience. We had a bit of a bad experience yeah. because um, 
So what happened was we were going to the hotel with the family mm. and we had we had bags, like we're holding the bags, going up to the hotel, and this there was this kid. No, 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 no. Oh. So yeah, I we were going into the hotel and I'm the one that only heard this. It was like we were in the lobby and then there was an old lady, she was just looking at us, and then she's like she's talking to the guy that like takes the bags or whatever his name is. Um, and then she's like, Do you reckon they have any bees in their bags? Bees in their bags. And in my bees. head bees. What's in my head Yeah. Yep. Bombs. Oh. She didn't say bombs. She said bombs bees. because of like you know. It didn't click in my head. Because it didn't because it didn't click in my head. Because away. like you know, yeah. obviously my mom, my mom scarfed, and yeah. we looked like the the type. Yeah. And you just that stereotype, like oh, they have bees in their bags. Well, mm. she just put the shahata in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but straight out. Where, where was Uncle Mo when we needed? Yeah, that's what you need, Uncle Mo. But like some some of these kids these days, they, like, they need the shahata. Oh, hundred percent. Big shahata. I go through to Woolies and Coles. Oh my god, what a headache. How do you like people? No, honey, please. Oh. I'll put you in the naughty corner. I'll take your iPhone away. Yeah. Bro, shut your mouth, bro. Give him the fucking shahat. Bro, that's there's it. no discipline these days. There's no Kids don't understand what it's like to be belted by your dad and you have to put your hand out. And if he misses, yeah. if he misses, he's doing it again harder. You're going to get double. Yeah. You're going to get double. And then fucking, you know, it's game over. And we, bro, did you ever cop the chili in the mouth? Chili in the mouth? Yeah. No, bro. I'm swearing. Wasn't... I wasn't that abused. You didn't that say profane on the No, no profane nation. No profane nation. <laughs> I was a good kid growing up. Yeah. Were you? I wasn't that bad. I can imagine. I was like, I was more silent and shy. But like, when I wear the Uncle Mo outfit, I feel like I could just be my best fantasy. You know, like funny guy. That's true. Outgoing. You know? Is that you know what I've I want to I want to get deep with this. Yeah. I want to get deep with this. You're um. So you're this character. Is that because you're you want to hide behind it? Honest, no, honest question. Yeah, it's like half and half because I have a family as well and I don't want, um, I guess it, like if I get, I don't want to get recognized in, out in public mm. when I'm out with my family because it's just weird. Yeah, mm. that's you similar know? to... Um, like what look what's happening to Yisra and Castro right now. Yeah. But imagine that's me with my family and my son. That's true. Yeah, and like, especially the fact that you have a family. On your own, you could do it. Yeah. But like with the family, it's just weird. Or like a lady coming yeah. up to you. Oh, I like you. Oh, it's cool just man. weird, man. And, and then your missus is there and she's just looking like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what people as well, like your son, you know, you want to give him his mm. privacy. Yeah. And that. Mm. It would be. You know, I never thought of it in that way. I always just thought yeah. of it that. And there's a lot of trolls as well. Mm. Like, as you see, well, you see what happened with Mons. Like, there's. Yeah. Yeah. People are ruthless, man. They have no morals. Some people have mm. no morals. I think you know? the thing with Mons is he regrets he didn't have like a character like that. Yeah, he told me. Yeah. He's like, bro, I wish I did the same thing as you. Yeah, he should have. Because then he can hide behind the character. And he would have popped off 10 times more, probably. Probably, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But for you, it's just like the sunnies and it's the thing. But it actually changes your look completely. But like when I saw you in person and I saw how different you look, yeah. I'm like, wow. I'm like, yeah, because eyes, be and, hard. eyes and, and hair like are the as well. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like yeah. you're gonna be, you're not gonna be wearing a you like all the time. <laughs> no, so we're gonna be changing up some outfits as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So. But it would keep the same theme. Just get me top one, guys, so I could be a rich guys, guy. Guys, get him top one next week. <laughs> double tap. So you can start releasing these videos because I want to see <laughs> these fucking videos. Double tap, double tap. Double tap the screen. <laughs> do everything. But to be honest, the only reason that I want to ever get top one is for like the perk of it. What do you mean the perk? As in like, like the... The videos get on the For You page. Oh, yeah. You get more exposure and stuff. Yeah, though. exposure. It's crazy how Mon's got it and like... Is he pumping out videos? Is he making the most? No, no. It's Not just really, like... No. People, some people do TikTok live for the con, uh, for the like money, you know. Mm. It's like good money. It's good side mm. hustle. But, Understandable. But like me, I want to do it for like a longer term. Like uh, mm. like a, there's a plan It'll behind. It'll give you like a base, line. like a yeah. bit of a platform to like platform. grow. Yeah, and like we want to release like videos. Oh, you done a smart bro. You started on a good app. TikTok obviously is now the the most popping popping off app. Yeah, mm. it's the so, easiest way to grow TikTok. It is. It is. But yeah. then to move. From TikTok to, to YouTube, it's and hard. we're experiencing oh, that. It's very it's hard. Yeah. Very, very hard. Like, yeah. To get them to watch, even like we post clips and stuff, but to get them to actually click onto the YouTube and watch the full podcast. Like they don't, they don't. It's they, different. They, people are lazy, bro. People are lazy these days. They don't want to go out of their comfort zone. They just want to watch no. lives. They just want to scroll. like TikToks. Bro. Yeah. They want to fucking, you know, yeah. comment on TikToks. They want to be trolls, but they don't want to go on people YouTube. People are also curious. 
So they if are. you leave them on a cliffhanger or something, I've never tried that, but I want, yeah. I want to. Yeah. Try, try it. Try this podcast and see. I will. How much I will. I'll pump out a few we'll clips. We'll, yeah. we'll leave a few cliffhangers and, and, and see how it goes. Yeah, we scammer you. Near you on we this podcast. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now you got to drop a bombshell for them to do that. Like you got to. Oh, we've already dropped. A few I think we, I dropped a few bombshells. Yeah, yeah, I think I got you some clips. We did drop a few bombshells. Yeah. So have you collabed with a lot of people? Uh, Ashton, Sammy, Vanessa, uh, who else, who else? I think that's about it. I think you should move to Sydney. Mm. Oh man, I Big statement, but I, th- I think, I think in Melbourne, in terms of content, I think Sydney's a better place to be. Sydney, yeah, in terms of content it is, but like, in terms of living, bro, I cannot imagine myself living here. The shades and like, the lebos. Many, bro, oh, not only that. No, not that, bro. Look at the living situation, for example, the housing. Mm, like in Melbourne for the amount of money you spend in Sydney that you spend in Melbourne you can live like a king in Melbourne really yeah what about in terms of like everything Mm. else is it just housing and stuff it's just like housing and it's like everything's different in Melbourne it's just much more chill it's just like a different state but it's just it's much more chill yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah. people aren't out to get you now we've got to come down yeah, I really want to go to Melbourne. We've I'll only been there around. once. We've got to go there back. I'll show you around the the area. Like the, you got to show us the ins and outs. Yeah, the ins and outs. We showed you the area here. We still got a few more places to show you. Really? I think I want to show Where? you a few more places. Mm. Bankstown. Oh. You haven't seen Bankstown. Double yet. two, double zero, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we know what, but they, I can't believe there's a lot of people that come from Melbourne and then I told them like, "Oh, have you been to Bankstown?" They say no. Like that's the first place you should come and visit. Like it's like a, like a fucking attraction here. Yeah. Like, Walla, it's like a full attraction. It's like a like cultural here, site. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're in the shopping center. What now? Go footlocker. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's people expect it, but you know what? We overhype it as well. Yeah, we make people it seem expect like it to be like a ghetto shit. fucking. No, like a ghetto. Like yeah, you get yeah, shot like, there and stuff. But yeah. you come down, it's just like you go to Bankstown Centro. As you said, it's footlocker. Yeah. Know. Nah, it's not. It's like nothing. There was this guy who made a video out of it. Yeah. It was so funny. Oh, he's like, he, his caption was, "People make, oh, the, but they were talking about Mount Ridley, not Bankstown." Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. Like, people make Mount Ridley look as if it's the ghetto and the shootings every week, but these people have been spoon fed till they were twenty. But they're yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> it's true, but yeah, it's like, like even Mount well. Druitt, the the I worst mean, area what? here. You'll feel, you'll see a few junkies. What is it like a Centrelink area? Yeah, it's yeah, predominantly like people in Centrelink. And then what what do people in Centrelink do? A lot of drugs. Yeah, they do a lot. There's of a lot of houses there in that, but you see a junkie here and there. You see a shays. Be surprised how many houses there are on TikTok Live. Really? A lot of. Are we people. dropping some? Uh, some. Nah, names? I won't drop some names. Uh, I don't want to drop some. Beef. Are we dropping some names? <laughs> nah, nah, not here. Not do you reckon? Here. Do you reckon any of these people have jobs? The people that do it all day, they don't. Mm. Top top they fifty can't, can't have, have a job. Oh, yeah, top twenty. We had that first week. Nah, top, we top 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 ten. Probably. Top ten can't have a job. Top 50 is all right. Mm. As long as you have that one guy that's supporting you big, mm. you appreciate him. You could just jump on for a few yeah. hours a day. Shout out Sneaker Lab, the best. Yeah, best is. Sneaker Lab. Yeah, she made you have a cold shower. She did. Yeah. And I had to. No, was that. She even made me have a cold shower against Ashton. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. She loves making me have a cold shower. Bro, she annihilated him with uh, Ashton. Oh, bro, oh, with Ashton. Right. Walla, we was the first fucking minute. We had battle. Betsy. Uh, we had. And then we we're like, had, hold off, hold off. She had double points. So what she did was, she fucking sent what? How many universes? Bro, it was like 10 universes. 10 like universes. Five, no, no, no. Five, and he, maybe. Five universes. Yeah, he ended up getting like 200,000, 300,000 points in one yeah. battle. Fire out. And they were like, yep, Fatsy, hold off. Hold off. Don't, don't bother. Don't bother. <laughs> don't worry about it. Who's the, who do you, like, have you what, seen all the gifters? The big gifters? Yeah. Yeah. No, who do you think is like the biggest, biggest? Who's like the. Oh, in like in Sydney. Or like in, like in TikTok world. Live. We have. Do you have like Coda? Oh, yeah. sorry, bro. You have like Coda. Yeah. Sneaker Lab. Yeah. Gibran. Shout mm. out Gibran. I see him every day. You have Ali Sydney. <laughs> Ali, Ali Sydney, Sydney is the biggest one. But, Ali Melbourne. Nah. So, but Ali Sydney only supports one person. Mm. I think so. Right yeah. now, at the no, moment. From what I've seen. Maybe now, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, who else you got? Uh, uh I don't jump on, but I think the. The Islanders have a big gifter as well. The Islanders? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of Islanders are coming on the weekly ranking. I've noticed that. Yeah. I've noticed but they're that. amazing. I love them. Yeah, there's they're a few so that jump on and they're like, oh, every time I jump on with them, they're, they're so like good sport. I think Islanders in general, bro. Yeah. They they're have very, nice yeah. hearts. Yeah. If they like, 
Islanders are the type if they like you, they fucking love you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you don't want to get on their back. They come up with that good energy energy yeah. as well. Like it's like, hey, bro. Yeah. You yeah. know that guy, um, Happy Vegemite? Happy Vegemite. You know him? He's just always I dancing in that. that. But I haven't seen he him. Was He's that guy that just song. dances, he twerks, and then he But he was like there that. before Uncle Mo came, I think. Oh, I think he was before you. Yeah. Oh yeah. He was big yeah. on that dancing yeah. stuff. Was he on TikTok Live? Not on TikTok Live. No. But he's on, he was on the app and he literally just took over the app. People loved him. He blew up just, just like, his energy. Like literally dancing. just his energy. I know. Um, uh, who's that? Uh, the, the two brothers, Leo and Quinton. Oh, yeah, Remember? yeah. yeah, yeah. Bro, oh, they're funny. I, I love yeah. them. No, they're good blokes. Yeah. yeah and um, you also have Team Charlton. Yeah. Mm. Charlton. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I went live with him a few times. Charlton. He's like, hey, bro. Can you go, bro. Hey, bro. Send me a rocket. Send me a rocket, bro. <laughs> hey, they, say this, they say this word. I don't know if it means like bro or something. They're like sh- Shana or something like that. Shana. Shana. Shana, Shana. What's yeah. Shana? I don't something know. Like that. It sounds like, like it's bro. Like a, it's yeah. probably like a bro. Hey, yeah. Shana, give me the like rocket. Shana, give they, us They say toko, us. Yeah. But they love their KFC. I felt sorry for them before I happened to them in Samoa. What happened to them? Tonga? Uh, the Tonga, Tonga, not Samoa. Sorry. Oh, the... The, the volcano? Yeah. Tsunami. And tsunami. tsunami. Bro, I heard there was going to be a tsunami in Sydney as well, but it never ended up happening. Mm. Bro, there was just people. It was just like, I think, a high tide and people went surfing. Bro, everyone was going to the Bro, beach. I saw people a video. flexing. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, look at me at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing happened. Walla, nothing Have happened. Have you seen the, like, the, the satellite photos of it? Of what happened? No. Nah. That's oh, cra- It was crazy, bro. Oh, sorry. You could see it from outside the, like, the earth. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, so how does it work? It's like... So the tsunami, it was a tsunami. So it was a volcano, it was an underground volcano and it yeah. blew up and all the ash and all that went up in the sky and it just created like a huge cloud and you could see it from outside the, outside the earth Wow! on the satellite. That would be crazy. Imagine being And it was like, like big, it wasn't like a little like speck, it was like massive. You, you could, could actually it. genuinely see like yeah. all this ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Would you go to space? No, oh, fucking no. You wouldn't? Bro, I would barely go to Sydney. You want to go, want to, go <laughs> to space, bro? You want to go on a rocket? <laughs> no, I'm what not. What if Elon Musk picked you out? Goes, I love this guy's videos. He calls you up right now and goes, All right, come to space with me. Stuff Elon Musk. He ruined my crypto journey. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a funny guy. He fucks with everyone's crypto, bro. Bro. Are you into crypto? I tried to get into it a bit. I've got like some investment in it, but I'm not big on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? What about you? You big on it? Bro, you I, teach me. Let me, let me. let me tell you this. I started off. I didn't put big money into it. Like mm. People say, oh, I'll put 50 grand. They say, I'll put two grand. Mm. But I started learning it. Yeah. You know, I was full getting into it, learning the ins and outs and everything and how to read a graph and how to keep up with the news. Mm. And I turned that two grand into th- in three months into 10 grand. Mm. So that was crazy to me. It's like, yeah, I mean, fucking good it's start. It's like a lot of money. Yeah. And like, imagine you scale that with more money, mm. you know? So, but then I had to pull out the money because I I needed to to support my family and all that because mm. bought a house and yeah, mm. so it's getting hard. But that guy, bro, he made me lose so much money. He just tweets him. like he tweets like a crypto, and then everyone just jumps on it. And bro, like Dogecoin, like that's a that was a meme yeah. that started. As a yeah. Meme. yeah, and now you know, like, well, eventually, you know, what happened? It has to such it? an fucking influence, crazy, bro. I I had a chance in one night. To make a hundred thousand dollars. How does that slip away? So I was doing leverage trading. Yeah. And I was reading the graph, and I like I, was, I trusted my guy. I'm like, this is, this is where it's gonna turn because the graph is going down. Yeah. I'm like, this is where it's gonna turn. This is the support. And then as soon as it goes down to that support, I put in money, and I, I leverage it to go up. Yeah. And it's slowly going up, slowly going up, and then it slowly goes down. Because I was watching it, you know, and I shout myself, I'm like, bro, let What's me going, let yeah, me yeah. just take my profits while I yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go to sleep, I wake up the next day, and it's going up like heaps. I could have made like a hundred. That always shits you. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of missed opportunities. Like that shits you. Like uh, everyone I talk to in crypto, they always say the same thing. Like, yeah, it's that opportunity. Mm-hmm. It's always, uh, bro. You never know with crypto and like it's, stocks. And, do you think it's like it's only you, it's only like whales that control it? Do you, you think know, it's like gambling? Not, not if really. you know your stuff. Because half of the time, listen, ha- after I learned the, like all this stuff, half the time I was making predictions, all that, it came out to actually be a bit true. So it's strategic as well. It's strategic, very, yeah. Very strategic, yeah. But like the people that mainly control the market is the people with the most money, you know, obviously, of course, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So th- that's, that's how, that's how everything happens. Right? Yeah. Like who controls the, the TikTok rich, live? The mega rich. The mega rich. The big gifters. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we kind of know who, but <laughs> we kind of know. But yeah. we don't. We don't want to get into that. Because no, no. they're fucking. You know, that's a whole new can of worms. It's just well, well, but what are, what are you like trying to say? They don't I'm control it anyway. Say, there's a certain type right, if you of people can, that if you have a lot of money, you can control who comes first, who comes second, who comes third. Oh yeah, yeah, that obviously that. Mm. But uh, I think I think like there is this guy in America right now. He's top one. Mm. That guy, bro. He showed me one of yeah. his battles. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Is this oh, it? Yeah, a ramen he ramen would make. Ramen? But Australia is nothing compared to other countries in the mm. world. No, I'm telling you, like he here would see like a 200k battle. And we'd go crazy over mm. there. That's like their normal battles 200k, 200k. Wow, I saw yeah. that that Rami guy. The guy that's Rami the Abdullah, yeah, Rami Abdullah. Yeah. I saw that guy and I saw one of his battles. He made like what million like points. Oh, did you see the one where he was versing the Albanian? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much did he make? Like the, the he points? made, I think, around like eight million points in one battle. In one battle, people no. don't even get that in one week. So Bro, 8 million points is like, yeah. what, 60, 70 grand? Uh, yeah, yeah, around that mark. In oh, one battle, five minutes. In five minutes, he oh made 70 God. grand. How insane That's is that? That's just to put into perspective, guys. Doesn't that, that, don't <laughs> you like, sometimes look at that and like, you look at everything else and you're like, what the fuck is everyone else doing? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I mean, like, people waste their time like bagging it and like, oh, they're all begging yeah, for money. Yeah, but bro, like, look, uh, but he's also entertaining, and he was famous before he got on TikTok Live. Right, mm. he's not entertaining for seventy grand in five minutes. I'm I sorry, mean, he's bro. got like yeah. uh, he's got big Khaliji supporters. Yeah, like mm. uh, the Middle that? East. Why don't you jump on that? Middle East. Get get on the Middle East market. Trust me, they 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 can fucking I think really I'll, support someone there. Yeah, but they'll think I'm a troll or something. Nah. Mm. You could you could go to Dubai, you could go to Abu Dhabi, you can go to fucking Khalij Emirates. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Man, we'll see where this TikTok live takes us. There. Yeah, because you see a lot of these influencers that go up there. The influencers, um, you know, like the American influencers. Yeah, you know, in Vitaly, America. Vitali, remember Vitali? Oh, bro, that guy's so cringe. Uh, yeah, like, he was OG. Oh, you. He was OG prankster though. Vitaly Fusi Tube. Yeah, but like everything was staged from him. Him yeah, and, um, yeah. what's that other guy? Fusi Tube. Fusi Tube. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Fusi Boob. Fusi Boob. Hey, bro, that guy's. Fusi. Oh, man. He's bro, like... how did that guy ruin his whole career? He did Straight that out. July. Remember his July 15th thing? Oh, but... bringing Drake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know, you know, the thing is. He fucked up so bad. With that his dog. personality is very similar to Kanye, but he's got, I think he's got nah. a disorder. Like, you know what? I, I think, think yeah, just, yeah, he's, he's got like the same well. disorder. I, I that, think um, he said that he was diagnosed with depression or something. Depression and goes, um, what's what, what did he say? Um, you almost made me want to kill myself. <laughs> well, he was crazy, bro. <laughs> I don't think you could put that in the clip. <laughs> yeah, probably not. That's fine. probably cut that out. But uh, fucking yeah, nah, he's he's bro. I, I don't know how someone can turn into that. Mm. Remember that Nick Avocado guy as well, bro? You know how skinny that guy used to be. Yeah, but the, the that's gay what guy content, that eats a lot. That's what content yeah. does to you. That's what content does to you. It's they just bro, switch. I'm telling you, it becomes just like a people a, lose their morals and their integrity, man. They lose their mind. But that's they what comes with clout. There's like a certain level. Nah, of, bro, I um, don't believe that. I think with, people. Yeah. There are people out there who still get clout and they keep their morals and integrity. You know. Yeah. There are. There are. But like. But some people they just don't want to lose it so badly because mm. when they start falling off or when they start, they get desperate. They get desperate. Yeah. So what do they start doing? They start doing crazy shit, outlandish shit. Yeah. That's just gonna land them like fucking. You know, give them that ego boost. Yeah. That views. And that's happened to him. I mean, he people. eats a lot and like, you can tell his health is like, yeah, bro. When it starts like affecting diminished. your health, then th- that's when it's fucked. Yeah. No, no, no body, body positivity in that. I've got to say. Nah, definitely not. Nah, bro. We are Ziz alphas here. We are. <laughs> Have you <laughs> seen those? No, <laughs> who's that? The Ziz. T- the oh, TikTok Ziz. videos, bro, that come up. Oh, and the like your like... your your opinion has been rejected. Plus, you're a female. I love that one. He was an icon. icon. <laughs> bro, Ziz was an icon. It's like your Honestly. opinion is irrelevant. Plus, you're a female. <laughs> Crazy, bro. It's like that's it. Yeah. And the music is always the same. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, that that hey, clubbing song. Imagine you fucking muzzing and going out in a music festival as Uncle Mo. Oh. I don't like those type of areas, man. Yeah. Like raves? Like, you're like me. Like raves, clubbing, this stuff. I've never been not, into Not it. my yeah, type of scene as well. 
I'm, I'm also a bit religious, so yeah, no religious. one knows that because I'd never bring mean? religion. What does a bit religious mean? Can we talk about it? All right, like, can we get into it? Like, I'm a guy who wants to be religious behind the scenes. I don't want to like bring how, religion into. How does that happen? See, that's that's a very touchy subject. Yeah, because like for example, uh, I don't know how how I can explain it to you. Like, what what would you like to know? Like for example, all right, because so, some. We're Muslim, yeah? Yeah. Let's put that out there. We're Muslim. And sometimes you've got to do certain things for content that, you know, you'd have to do to blow up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll give you the example. Um, One of these creators came up to me. Yeah. And they're mm-hmm. known. Uh, I think if I say what they do, you'll know straight away who it is. You can say it. Does it start with O? I yeah. mean, I don't care. They're all respectful about it anyways. Yeah. I think, you know, Madison Lambeau yeah. and Luca when they yeah. said, you know, come down, let's do some videos, come on the podcast and all that. I was like, um, like with all due respect, like because of your audience and what you guys promote, I don't want to bring that on my content. Oh, wow. And they, they were so cool about it. They're like, oh, yeah, no worries, all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like that, that makes sense. It, Is you it know? just the, like the whole OnlyFans sort of it's scene that you don't want to... Like, yeah, because i got friends and family that follow me. You know, and I don't want to like promote that kind See, of See, I respect stuff. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of like courage to actually be like, nah, yeah. you know what? But, but like, I didn't like beg them or say, no, 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 this. Yeah, I just kept way, it re- yeah, respectful, you, you know? It. Like, some other people would go, oh, you're a gango. You're a- <laughs> like, <laughs> what happened last time? <laughs> yeah. I think the way you come about with the religion yeah. it should be very peaceful and yeah. very like, um, um, because in, in a way, if you're, if you're making people like, if you're telling people off, like, oh, why are you doing anything? This and that. It's going to make them do what? Want to do it even more. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. be against you even more. You got to look at it from the other perspective. Like, mm. from an outsider's perspective, they'll see you and they'll think that that's what our religion's about. Like, targeting yeah. people. And if going, you want to bring someone closer to the people. religion, yeah. if you want to bring someone closer to the religion, the best way to do it is through peace. Peaceful, in a peaceful way. Exactly. And just make them, just see how beautiful the religion is. And yeah. just like, I don't know. 100%. Like the way you did. You, you were very peaceful about it. And they're like, no, nah, you know. I feel like uh, also a lot of people... Um, who try to come on the app and they try to act religious, yeah. or like they don't act. hundred percent. But they they, they, say they be they say re- they're religious. They put videos up that are like I I put nothing about religion on my yeah. TikTok or anything because I don't want to promote that image that I'm the perfect Muslim. Exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like I don't want to be seen as, as a hypocrite. Yeah. And like if I ever do a mistake or something on, yeah. on public, it's gonna backlash on the, you can't, on the yeah. religion you can't have everything you know what i mean yeah. you can't sit no, you there can't. and be like yes i'm the perfect muslim i this i do this and that and post videos about you know those motivational yeah, yeah, videos yeah. That they put and then go on live or go and do this and that mm. exactly because then you look like a hypocrite Listen to you, whatever you do yeah yeah you know what i mean like like yeah. if you if you're just gonna be a muslim like best thing to do is be a muslim behind the scenes yeah and like keep it between you and god you know mm. Because you're not out there, and then people are like, no, we got to promote the religion. This is that we got to mm. give dawah, and it's like, bro, you're not like a sheikh or something, you know. Mm. You're not gonna hundred percent, yeah, yeah. Uh, secondly, you won't be promoting it in a positive light. No, no. so you, you might as well do. You don't that. want people to look at you yeah. as the like, the full face, the face of, face, Islam, the face know, of yeah. Islam, yeah. yeah. Because bro, you look at someone like people um, like, and also young Muslim kids, mm. they get confused, mm. all right. They get confused to they start seeing this stuff and this type of, of like videos and content and all that and they think it's normal to do it. One hundred percent. In fact, it's not normal. It's not, and especially some people like, for example, when you blow up, when you become like a big content creator, you start yeah. mingling with people that are not from your same religion, and they would want you to do like they'd say, "All right, come have a drink with us." You know, you, you want to network. They tell you, "Come have a drink with us," this and that, but that's against the exact your exact same thing happened to me, by the way. Yeah, um, I met up with a content creator. Yeah. And we thought we'll just go to like a cafe or something. And it turns out they go, they went to a club. Mm. Mm. And I was like, them, listen, bro, you can go in and I'll just wait outside here, you know? Because it's not my thing. See, I respect that. Yeah. Mm. Because at the end of the day, I didn't want to be like, no, no, bro, don't do this. Or like, I didn't want to like bring religion to them. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just be like, because they won't understand that they're going there to party. They're not going there to get dawah, you know? Mm. Plus, they're not, they're not Muslim. So yeah. If you're going to sit not, there. Yeah. Like, and force it and 100%. be like, no, no, you can't do this. They're going to be like, don't tell me what to do. And they're going to be even worse. Yeah. They're going to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a, a person that, like, let's say an Aussie that has OnlyFans, like a, a lady that has OnlyFans, like, by you screaming at her and saying, you're a gango, you're this and that, like, it's not going to like, that's yeah. just what they are. That's yeah. what they do. They're, they're, 
they're from yeah, a different. Yeah, if you're just yeah. swearing, just solely saying you're a ganger, this and that, instead of saying like, oh, mm. look at other ways, you know, it's, you know. They don't really understand like the religion. That. They don't understand why it's when bad. You, when you are bringing religion to someone who's not the same religion as you, never bring religion into it. You bring mm. subjective argument into it. Like, mm. or objective arguments, if you get what mm. I'm saying, you know? Because mm. that person, they don't take from your religion. So what's the point of bringing religion to them? You know? That's true. You, mm, that's true. You're more likely to make them understand through logical statements, you know? Mm. Through logical stuff. Not mm. like, uh, don't have to talk about religion every time with them. Mm. Because they don't take from your religion. They don't take from the same thing. Mm. No, you know? they won't. They but, won't. They yeah. won't look at it like that. They won't look at it like, oh, you know, this is because they have their they have their own religion or they don't have a religion. Yeah. yeah. So they're not gonna. A lot like, of people will bring the argument as they they'll say, oh, when we first started our religion, we had to bring it upon people, but now it's more mainstream and they can research that. Yeah. Our religion, but back then it wasn't as mainstream. Yeah. People so will say. Uh, people would say, "Oh, bro, we need to go, brother. We need to go out there. We need, to. bro. Yeah. There's thousands of books. There's thousands 100%. of, bro. Google has everything. If mm. someone wanted to learn about Islam, they'll just like Google it. For sure, For you sure. don't have to be the one to like because of the for, technology these days. It's down people. Yeah. yeah, it's not like the old days where you have to actually go and give dawah to people. It's more mm. like now. It's like everything's available for them to see. So a lot of the stories you hear of people that convert to Islam and that they went out themselves. Yeah. They're like, all right, man, I, I I was missing a purpose in life, this and that. So I went to watch YouTube. I went to watch this and that. And exactly. then I, it brought me closer. Not yeah. someone came up and knocked on their door and was like, you know, oh, yeah. What about those people that knock on your door? Like you tell them, piss off, because you have your own religion. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes you just want to. Because exactly. if someone's telling you to do something, it, everyone just automatically wants to rebel. Yeah, well, I think yeah. about that. My, my dad used to bring him inside the house oh, and he would try to convert them from oh, Christianity. <laughs> my dad would do the same. He'd talk to them for like an hour trying to convince them. They'd try to like go back and but forth. But, but, but the guy's just stubborn. there to They're hand coming out to the preach poster. to you. How are yeah, you going to yeah. preach back? <laughs> the guy's just need to hand out the poster. You know? One of them actually got really angry. Really? Yeah, man. Like one of them got really pissed off and he just left the house. Wow. It's crazy, man. Like but, we had those um, Jehovah's that yeah. they used to come. Jeho they, they, what they do they the, believe you know, the in? Suit, the, 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 yeah. the tie and the suit, fucking 40 degrees outside and they're knocking. I think they believe that um, bad bad things weren't created by God. I think that's what they believe. Oh. I don't know, like too the much devil and stuff like that, but we don't have to I don't too know too much, much about that, but yeah. But, but yeah, but yeah I, as an example, like what we were talking about before, like I think a big guy, like, you know Khabib, the Magomedov? Yeah. He's good on that. Like he, that guy saw the biggest... You know, fame. It's the so, perfect example and, as to how to promote Islam. Yeah, and exactly. he stayed steadfast, doesn't drink. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Same Great. thing. Yeah. Yeah. He like it, uh, and he only ever went angry once. Yeah, but for, that, for the right reason. When he smashed Conor, Conor yeah. McGregor face. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> smashed him uh, post fucking <laughs> after the fight. Let's not jump the fence. Yeah, and like he even apologized after he straight did, away after yeah. he's just like, guys, I lost even control. His dad, his dad, mm. his dad lost it at him as well. Yeah, 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 and shows that like you know that that's not what we mm. promote. You know what I mean? Mm. But at the end of the day, he's always promoting it the right way. Like, and then he got Moe Don't Worry from the area trying to be a yeah. dumb old man. Bro, shake your mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a beard like that. Yeah, and then he's got like a Versace shirt yeah. on, and he's going to like I don't understand it. And then they yeah. tell well, you, I don't understand it. They tell you, bro, don't judge. You know, we're just trying to promote Islam. Mm. But you're not promoting bro, the correct you're, way. You're at Americans <laughs> having drinks and you got girls over, but nah, you have a big beard and you don't miss Jum'ah. You don't miss Jum'ah <laughs> prayer. No, I don't miss Jum'ah prayer, brother. But you know, I'll go and do this and that. Like, yeah. I, at the end of the day, know, it's between you and God. But it's like, between you and God. But at the same time, do not try and promote Islam if you're not going to act it all the time. Yeah. Don't be a hypocrite. That's it. Mm. Exactly. That's the final message I'll leave out with. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. We'll <laughs> wrap it up here. Uh, we'll wrap it up, but yeah, yeah. fuck, it was... Uh, I don't know how we just got up. so deep towards it. Right. <laughs> hey, we've never gone this is deep into religion. <laughs> it was yeah, good, though. It was good. Um, and yeah. like it needed to be said because... hundred yeah. percent. A lot of people a that are on TikTok happening. now, mm. the rankings, it's all like Muslim oh, people. Bro. It is. Know? It's it's the And it has to be said. And they're seeing the wrong image. They're seeing all the big ones on TikTok, the most famous ones, are all the Muslims. Yeah. That's that's the reality. And I feel like all the Australian people and everyone else has got turned off. Like, yeah, well, yeah, I went on one guy's they life. They didn't hate us more, they'd hate us way I went on one guy's life. He yeah. was Australian. Look, like, I'm not going to name his name. He was like, Man, all these Arabs, this, this, that, they're all at the top. Frauds, uh, fraud money, crib money. Yeah. This, that. I'm like, what the? That's because that's the image that we, yeah, yeah, sadly, yeah. that's what we portray. Exactly. Oh, we're this and that, we're beggars, we're this and that. Like, mm. any other day, we're entertaining. Yeah. We can't, you can't take that away from us. Yeah. We're the most entertaining. Without us, how exactly. boring would TikTok be? 
How boring would TikTok be without the Arabs? Without the drama. It'd be so boring. <laughs> You know the what I mean? Drama. But we, we we brought the drama, which was wrong, but we also brought the entertainment. Yeah. But right, and the drama is against each other most of the time. Oh yeah. Pretty much the drama is always against each other. Yeah. Unless you're like, hey, Luke! 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 <laughs> 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 that video that was, that was, the, that was fucking, the best. Listen, oh, best. listen. What is this? Hey, Wallo was a sick one. You call. You call. Hey, don't call me. Call. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but uh, yeah, no, nah, it was fucking. It was a pleasure having you on. No uh, worries, man. Thanks um, so much. Do you have anything you want to say before you before we sign out? I um, hope everyone enjoyed my real voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. guys, and go follow his uh, his socials. I'm gonna put him up. Follow him up. Um, yeah. and yeah, we've got a bit of a snippet that he's gonna do YouTube. So you never know. You might see a bit of a Libby Uncle Mo collab with these public Ooh, videos. Yeah, things. stay tuned. I'm stay you, tuned. Like uh, I'll still be Uncle Mo, but I think once I go on the lives, yeah. I'll switch back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mm. think that's the best thing to do. Because I want to also, because sometimes when I do my Uncle Mo character, yeah, sometimes it limits me from talking about like serious and deep stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Talk, exactly. Because people, people don't take it seriously. People take it huh? seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe now, they're like the last minute, they're yeah. like, oh, it's talking about religion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's all good, man. Nah, fucking thanks for coming on, bro. Guys, like, share, subscribe. Yeah. Um, follow Uncle Mo. Thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Yalla. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>